Hey guys, what's up? So I actually got access to Adobe Firefly. I mean, it's pretty legit and it's easy to use. Obviously mid journey, I've tried playing around with mid journey. There's a lot of stuff that you need to do in order to generate really awesome images. So I'm not really sure about that. I haven't tried mid journey for, even though I know that I've heard about it, it's pretty insane. But since I got access to Adobe Firefly, I just wanted to share what you can do with it. So the two things that are available right now are text to image and text effects. One thing I'll just let you know, if you need access to mid journey, oh sorry, Adobe Firefly, you can obviously go to the Firefly, Adobe Firefly page, firefly.adobe.com. You can request access, and then it's gonna ask you to fill a form. One thing that I've noticed personally, I applied for access uh, from two accounts, one which had active subscriptions to Adobe and the other one which did not. And I got access on the one that had subscriptions. So maybe that's a factor that's coming in uh, to give you access, I'm not sure, but just something to keep in mind. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is are the text effects. So obviously I'm not an expert at it. I just got access to it like a few days back. I haven't played around with it that much. I'm just gonna be playing around with it for the most part with you guys, uh, even though I did obviously play around with it a bit. So in this particular text effects, you can basically type the text that you want. So I can type cat and I can say cat like fur. And it's gonna generate the words cat with cat like fur. That's exactly what it's gonna do. So I have a bunch of text effects as well, whether this should be tight, loose, medium, and the different stuff that I have. I mean, it's pretty, pretty, pretty great. And let's me just, let me just generate like C. And I can, for example, try loose. If I try loose, let's see what happens. And then I have the different fonts by which I can actually generate this stuff as well. So, I mean, just check it out. I mean, this is pretty legit in my opinion. The effects that are generated are pretty great. They're pretty awesome. And I can even try something else. Like for example, snow, like rough, edgy mountain. I don't even know if that's gonna work. Hopefully it would. Probably it would, I'm not sure how well though. So I can change the font as well and I have a bunch of fonts as well, I can view all. I mean, this is pretty legit, right? This is pretty insane, honestly speaking. I really am impressed with the quality of output that it's generating with basic prompts, which I think is lacking in a bunch of these prompting tools, but I think Adobe Firefly is really hitting the nail with this. I also can add a background color. So if I want a particular background color, like a white color, a black color behind it and stuff along those lines, I can do that too. Or I can leave it transparent as well, which is pretty insane. Then I can download it obviously. If I download it, it's just gonna tag it with Firefly um, just to highlight the fact that it's generated with Adobe Firefly. But I think it's still pretty insane. Obviously, if you want, you can crop this image, crop this Firefly out. I'm not sure if there's a restriction in that, uh, but obviously it's not for commercial use. So, I mean, those are the things that I just wanna talk about in the text effects, which are pretty insane. Now, going to the topic that I guess most people are going to be interested about, which are which is text to image. So if you click on generate, you're basically gonna get a bunch of things here, and I can then describe the image that I want. So I usually do not work with uh, humans or animate beings like humans or animals. I usually work with landscapes and stuff along those lines. So maybe let's try something out. Maybe let's try stairway to hell, something like that. And then we can click on generate. If we click on generate, we can obviously choose the aspect ratio. So we can decide whether it should be a landscape, whether it should be a portrait, Let's try portrait because it's a stairway is probably going to be going on top. And then we have content, whether it should be art, whether it should be photo, whether it should be none, like just a generic content type, whether it should be a graphic and stuff along those lines. So I mean, if this as a photo is pretty great, it's pretty legitimate, even though let's try it one more time, just ask it to generate another photo or another four different photos again, and it's gonna do that. So I think the previous one wasn't really a photo, it was something else. Now this is more close to a photo. I mean, just have a look at that. So we can say stairway to hell with molten lava on the side erupting, something along those lines. Let's see what it does in this particular photo. So one thing that I really like it about Adobe Firefly is the fact that it does a really great job initially even. So you don't have to do a lot of things to get really good results. I mean, even this result, it's pretty insane, but I don't really want the lava to be that <laughs> that much of a showcase. So, but whatever it is, I guess you get the point. One other thing that you can do is you can also generate a graphic. So you can generate a photo, you can generate artwork, you can generate a graphic as well. So the graphic is gonna be more close to what you can imagine as a vector. 
So this is a vector drawing. As you can see, similarly, we have other things here as well. So do you want to generate a digital art? So I can click on generate and now it's going to generate a graphic, which is going to be close to a vector and also in a digital art format. So I have a bunch of these different styles that I can have a look at it. I mean, this looks like something out of a movie, out of a, I don't know what type of a movie, maybe out of a game. Like imagine like in games you have these visuals and then you have stories behind them and stuff along those lines. This looks exactly like that. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference if this exactly was used in a game. So this is pretty insane. So apart from that, we have different styles as well, like uh, styles from movements. So obviously we have steampunk, we have all of these fantasy styles, pop art, cubism, obviously I'm sure a lot of you know about cubism, but let's try generating something from cyberpunk, from the cyberpunk movement. And let's see what this generates for Stairway to Hell. Pretty freaking legit, I'll tell you that. Pre pretty freaking legit. I honestly am in love with this. And we have other things as well, like the different themes that can be there, whether it should be a 3D art, a product photo, should it be a cartoon? Let's just try a cartoon, right? Let's just try a cartoon. So you can have, you can combine these different things. So the theme I'm saying should be a cartoonish theme and the movement should be cyberpunk. Let's have a look at it. Even though I'm not sure how that's gonna blend because cyberpunk actually is sort of a cartoon, but I don't even know what what Firefly is gonna push out. So this looks pretty, as I, as I imagined, it's pretty close to the cyberpunk theme. So let's just try graphic and a cartoon for Stairway to Hell and let's see what it does. So again, you have pretty awesome stuff. You have all of these different styles based on pretty freaking legit. Honestly, I'll tell you, this definitely looks like a cartoon, which I feel like there was another, there was a cartoon where Billy and Mandy or something, which actually had a skeleton and stuff. I used to watch it when I was a kid, but this pretty much looks like a graphic from that particular cartoon. So you have all of these different styles, which are based on uh, movements, themes, techniques, effects and all of that stuff i mean and it does a pretty good job at it what it does not do a good job at it let's just go back to a graphic that's going to be stairway to hell and then let's try a photo so this is our photo and let's try color and tone obviously color and tone is pretty okay so i can try a vibrant tone so let's try a vibrant tone for these images this works fine the color and tone in my opinion does a really good job at making the colors vibrant or obviously having making them black and white or pastel colors and stuff along those lines this looks pretty good but the lighting i'm not really sure about it so imagine a dramatic lighting so i'm we're gonna have dramatic lighting i feel like what we already had was pretty dramatic but let's see what difference do we have in dramatic lighting yeah i guess somewhat of uh, difference maybe maybe a photographer can tell me I'm not really sure but still it's doing some sort of work but now if we go to composition this currently doesn't work so if we try shot from above so let's try shot from above we were looking at the stairs from below so now let's look at it from an angle that's like upwards I'm not sure how well this is gonna do I tried it it's not really doing a lot well but in some images like if we actually consider this image this can be considered that it's actually looking at the stairs from above maybe I'm not sure so the composition I'm not completely sure about it but all of these different details they're pretty insane we can also try one more thing let's try heaven so if we try heaven so for example we're gonna say heaven with gardens underneath which rivers flow i mean let's just imagine something like that obviously you wouldn't be able to imagine the real heaven but let's see what that actually gives us pretty freaking legit i mean just just have a look at it man just have a look at it i'm freaking mesmerized by firefly because i'm pretty sure you can achieve it's a similar results or maybe even better results with mid journey but when i was trying out mid journey 3 i had to do a lot of stuff i had to add like a lot of like um different parameters in order to generate really good stuff but here i can just type what i want i can choose some styles that i need and it's generating really awesome stuff so i would definitely recommend checking it out if you download anything obviously as i mentioned it's going to apply the content credentials you can't really use it uh, as a commercial thing but it's basically going to give you a really awesome high res image of the heaven which i think is pretty legit looking so again this is something that i definitely want you guys to check out um you can obviously apply for the um 
the beta. I'm not sure how soon you're going to get it, but it is definitely something that we can check out. So that's going to be pretty much it. Do subscribe to hit the bell icon. I'm going to do maybe an, another video if you guys requested once I've actually played around with Firefly a lot more and I can then maybe explore some other things that I'm probably missing right now. But this was just an intro of me getting hands on Firefly. I'll see you later. Take care.